Hi, and welcome back to Chessopolis. I'm Chess. This is where I speed build my way through all of the Sims 4 neighborhoods. So today, this is not a speed build. This is a speed create a sim session where I create the swans as well as the Cullens. And here we are uh, creating Bella. Now, this series is, well, this is the start of, a, of a, an entire series dedicated to Twilight in honor of Midnight Sun coming out August 4th super excited about it um, and I wanted to create Forks and all of its inhabitants and I wanted to create it based on the book um, in terms of what they look like and in terms of the town too in terms of the descriptions and some of the movie definitely played inspiration in the build but the I went strictly by the book in my own imagination with the uh, the cast here Bella said to have like really big lips and really prominent cheekbones and everything and I like Kirsten Stewart you know but I just she just didn't physically embody what I saw Bella as and how the book described her like the video if you're more of a book fan than a, a movie fan um, though I like both but in terms of the character description I like the books um, yeah it was a lot of fun creating her it was a little difficult trying to find like the perfect hair because there's like the long hairs in the sims are kind of boring to me the medium hair is kind of where it was at i you know, I tried to recreate like the dress that she wore to the formal when she had a broken leg and things like that. Just try to give her that real casual, plain Jane kind of vibe that she gives off in the book, at least in the first book for the most part. Um, though all her style is forced upon her by Alice and her friend Jessica. So, um, yeah, I tried to really play into that with her and, uh, and, and give her that. I don't know, that quintessential Bella that I saw in my head while reading the books and who I really, really was attached to. Um, it's just so funny how plain she's supposed to be, but to herself at least, but to everyone else, she's like this exotic creature because all the boys at school like her. <laughs> but according to the uh, book description with her really strong jawline and cheekbones and, and facial features, you know, she was really attractive. Um, she just always kind of wanted to be invisible, and I think maybe she was when she was in Phoenix, but not so much when she went up to, to Washington. And so then here I am creating Charlie, and he said to have curly hair, and the curly hair in The Sims, especially short hair, is really hard, so he's got kind of a wavy disarray kind of hair going on. I really definitely wanted to give him, like, small town dad slash fisherman slash well dad 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 really lots of dad vibes <laughs> um just really want to give him a casual look a real you know i don't know like he doesn't really care but not like he's sloppy it's just not a big thing for him he probably has four shirts and four pairs of pants you know like charlie's just a real simple person and i kind of wanted to keep it like that with him as best i could um you know uh bella said to take after him a lot in some ways so i kind of wanted to um obviously give him some of the same features and personality traits they both have the fact that they're clumsy and common so that was fun to me making their little family unit was really fun um because they're the first characters you meet in the book uh you meet bella and charlie and their awkwardness and how they're basically loners but now together and don't really know each other kind of thing even though they're father and daughter and it's just a really cool introduction to me to both the characters And so here I am starting Edward. I uh, just started from a random sim and again base it off of um, the book description and he's supposed to have like a really really angular high cheekbone strong jawline. According to Bella she even compared him to like Adonis the Greek god um, and I tried to keep his hair red and in disarray but as if he kind of tugs it or pulls at it or rubs it runs his fingers through it all the time um yeah but i wanted him to also look expensive but not overly expensive because he's trying to blend in but not so much 
you know it's like he's trying to be a teenager but they also drive really expensive cars and live in this super expensive house um kind of ostentatious cars actually so i kind of wanted to give a little one up to that and gave him this gloomy personality trait because he's so so depressing in the book uh, so depressing and here i am <laughs> i was always more team jacob but here i am um with alice she's my favorite cullen my absolute favorite uh in the movies i thought the actress they chose was a pretty good um option though i always saw alice as short as she is described in the books and i saw her very pixie like uh with really short hair not like that weird bob flip flip mama brady kind of thing it just was not it was not my bag but i definitely doing this whole cast it was really fun because i really got to play with who I saw these characters as in my imagination reading the books over and over and over again. <laughs> so Alice was, Alice is definitely my favorite. She doesn't get as much of a attention in the movie, but she's a huge, 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 hugely central character to the entire series. Cause without her, they honestly wouldn't know anything. Um, she, yeah, she, she knows things up to the second and things always change, but she's, she goes with it. You know, I, I love I love Alice. I think she's a really strong character. But from here, you'll see me do Jasper and Carlisle and Esme and Esme and just the rest of the Culling Gang. So enjoy the cast, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see all the other videos I do for Midnight Sun. Bye.